a little more used to it as well. I'm just wondering what he's doing with all these watches. Have you, have you sort of asked him? Well, I think he's got a good collection going anyway from that point. Do you think we ought to put our name on the well, list? Well, I think family have come first, but he must be running out of those by now. I think half of Scotland must have one by now. I, mean, I would it's... love a long jeans. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> well, he's one place the other, and I know he keeps them pride of place at home. And, uh, well, Scott will get to add another one here. I'm just a bit worried where we're sitting, whether we're going to get a champagne and Yeah, we're, we're a bit close to the podium. I'm a bit worried. He's got me before now. And uh, he's, I can see our technicians getting twitchy if a bottle of champagne comes over all the technical bits and pieces. But that's the main part, is that he's got to win. And uh, bought out, ready for the presentation. Scott Brash and Hello Sanctos. Second spot to Abdullah Shabatli. And third to Ireland's Greg Broderick. And you have to say, good performances by all three. Definitely. And uh, I was really impressed with Greg, Greg Broderick's horse tonight. And I uh, thought he made a great decision in just going for that clear. Or actually sort of sat behind Jan Top, so I don't think he, they would aim the champagne at him. You? Oh, it's been known. Oh. <laughs> it has been known. You thought you were safe. There's all the flags flying of the uh, whole host of nations that we've got uh, competing here this week and uh, well once again it is a truly global championship Scott Brash hops on down and uh, coming up to the podium first in uh, third place and there'll be a big cheer from Ireland for this one. Well done to Greg Broderick and MHS going global. Certainly look as though they're doing that. They are on a massive rise. Up on the podium here in Kashkanesh, Estoril. A great effort from Abdullah Al Chalk Badly on, yeah. on what he regarded as a speed horse. He did a, he did a great round, didn't he? Great opening round. Just, just jump off. Well, up he goes into uh, second spot. I've got a for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And uh, then to take the highest points, Scott Brash, the launching world number one. They're not going to knock him off that, are they? Just keeps going. Irish flags flying. Some of uh, Bertram Allen's family here this week as well. The hats come off. Ready for the national anthem of the winning rider. in his stride doesn't he he's, yeah. um, he's a great character very modest with what he's won and all that he's done and up they come for the uh, presentation and uh, all the local dignitaries do aren't they also coming forward to uh, congratulate the uh, event organisers on behalf of the event organisers here in Kashkash Estoril and uh, there we go, the new Longines watch headed to uh, Scott Brash. Adds another one to the collection. Good job he bought a new house this year. He's got room for it now, which is good. Now Jan Tops coming forward to congratulate second Abdullah Shabati receiving his medal. And in third place, good performance from Greg Broderick to finish in third. Uh, delighted Scott and I know he's delighted with the horse once again and a huge congratulations to the owners as well to uh, Lord Lady Harris and Lord Lady Kirkham who do own 
the best. Absolutely. 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 He just goes, he's brought them so much success, hasn't he? And he's such a nice character with it. Now it's time for the champagne shower. Yeah, the champagne. Is this where we ought to be a bit worried? Yeah, I think you should lean back a little bit because we're not too far away. It's okay. And it is between those two, of course, Scott Brash and Greg Broderick. It was Irish on the podium last week. And once again this. And there's, of course, another one up there to give it another go. So I'm not quite sure where he's going to go with that one. Yes, poor old Greg's getting a full champagne shower. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Abdullah run so quick. Well, he heads out the way, of course, as uh, our two celebrate with a bottle. Congratulations and a thumbs up from uh, Abdullah. Good performance all round. And I think they're going to need a hosing down after that. That's right, we've got a couple of coffee machines there that seem to be going for grabs. They're going for the prices as well. They, mm. They've got to drink all of that and then sober up tomorrow morning. We <laughs> need an espresso <laughs> machine for that. Well, Scott switching back into riding hat. And congratulations also to... Uh, Hannah there, who keeps the show on the road for them on the ground, does a fantastic job. Hannah Coleman there, about to put him back in the saddle. A great partnership effort all round of the team. It's such a hectic um, programme, isn't it? I yeah. mean, it, it must be a nightmare logistically to get it right, to, to, to know what horses are going where, the paperwork, the, the planning, the flights. Uh, it's incredible, really. Yeah, superb team that back up the whole of the Scott Brash operation. But uh, away they go. Wonderful uh, piece of uh, jumping once again. Congratulations to our top few. But uh, there, Abdullah Shamafi will eventually finish in second place with Domingo. Third place to Greg Broderick of uh, Ireland. And uh, I know that'll please plenty back in the Emerald Isle. But those uh, back on the British shores and around the world will be watching launching well number one he closes in even further on Luciana Deniz in the overall title race and he's biting on her heels already Scott Brash adds a third win of the season here in Kashkayesh Estoril it's a back-to-back -back win after last year and it really does spice things up for the rest of the legs to come of the tour of course we head just very shortly back to France to Chanty for the tenth leg of the series how will things play out there we'll just have to wait and see but for here from all of us here in Kashkash Estoril it's been another sunny spectacular night under the lights and some amazing sports during the day but from all of us here we hope you enjoy all of the Global Champions Tour legs this has been another thriller and it's congratulations to the man who does stay on top Scott Brash Los Santos Fantastic performance. See you very soon.